Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Metal Mark the Boss Twitching. I'm Metal Mark the Boss. Uh, yeah, I left off in the burial chamber. Uh, I kind of figured out how to do this. I just gotta go up here now. I got the other butterfly to that other platform and it raises in the air. resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord God, why like this? Better show this to Lord Gok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Huh. <laughs> 
you're gonna regret coming here. I don't waste time seeing if they're dead. Their fate's not on my hands. Only their blood. I'd rob my own father if there were galleons in it. Not my mother, mind. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Rebellion. Power. Akio. Repair it. Ugh. 
Let me answer. Let me answer. Lumos. Repair up.
There they are. The ash wipers. Revelio. Betting on the dragon price was the best decision I've made yet. That's it. This is for Rookwood. Oh, I try not to make this too easy for me.
Revelio. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Vodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Oh. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Rebellion. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard?
Valleo. Oh, she wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies.
Pushing and plowing. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Yeah, it was perfect timing for the remote to die. <laughs> Look at that face. It was like, turn, face, pause. <laughs> I was like, yo, hell of a time to die. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love.
Yeah. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things, too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. Epic choice. Get involved or do not get involved. That is the question. I'm not sure this is something a student should be doing on your behalf. Oh, it's nothing. And he deserves it. Trust me. You'll be in and out of there in no time. Look at that smile. <laughs> Get down. I'll go to the chopper. <laughs> I'll go to the chopper. <laughs> Very well. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. I shall be right here. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Remember. 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 Mr. Barnes will only get in trouble going down this path. I need to find another way to get him a venomous tentacular.
greetings. Please take bow. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Did that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacula. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. time on this episode too. If something threatens me, first thing I do is to see how I'm going to cope with it. Wrong. That's what the authorities are for.
Revelio. Oh, it's a quest for me. It's pretty cool. Alright, that's probably going to be it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time at Hogwarts. Alright, later guys.